call on Alison Johnson to be followed by Angus Macdonald. Um, thank you, Presiding Officer. And I thank Neil Finlay for bringing this debate to the Chamber this afternoon. And I'd also like to thank all those constituents who have written to me and met with me to discuss this issue. This debate has certainly given us an opportunity to ensure that the voices of local communities affected are heard loud and clear. And it's about time too, because Edinburgh Airport and its owners, the Global Infrastructure Partners, have failed to engage properly with the people that this trial impacts upon. Presiding officer, this is quite an extraordinary case and one which is causing grave concern. Without consultation, my, my constituents have found themselves in an experiment a new flight path trial, a six month trial. And this surprise trial began in late June and residents learned about it when flights roared overhead so low that they can clearly read the delivery. And apparently this is all okay with the Civil Aviation Authority. You know, it fits in with their guidelines, but just because you don't need to consult doesn't mean you shouldn't consult. But my constituents, as Gavin Brown has pointed out, they don't need six months. They cannot bear six months. The children who are exhausted and can hardly get up in the morning to go to school don't need six months. Those who've literally been reduced to tears by this issue because of the impact of the relentless, hugely invasive noise pollution, the effect on their health and well-being, they don't need six months. They can assure Edinburgh Airport and Global Infrastructure Partners now that this plan to grow the airport is not in balance with the needs of neighbouring communities. And Mr Gordon Dewar knows that this trial and the way it's been conducted is an abject failure on several levels. The airport and its owners have failed to be fully transparent with local companies. And I'm absolutely certain that a multinational investment company will be well aware that providing community councils with information is not a comprehensive consultation. They have to rely on tiny budgets, volunteer efforts. Does the airport actually think that the, the um, community councils were going to print leaflets and go door to door? in their spare time on their behalf. Well, what they have succeeded in doing is galvanising public opinion. People are now going door to door with leaflets, but perhaps not the ones they'd wanted. Now, Colin Keir would have us believe that it's necessary to carry out the trial and then consult. Would we really take that approach when it came to an issue like GM crops, perhaps? I don't think so. And does the member know how air pollution in this trial is being monitored? No, and nor, as of the August the 17th, did the Chief Executive of Edinburgh Airport. This is a deeply worrying case. Now, this is a company which has tried and failed, as Neil Finlay told us, to expand capacity at London City Airport and Gatwick Airport too. They want to inflate the value of their asset, they want to make it worth more, get permission to increase flights, even when, as we've heard, it is not needed. This trial has been imposed on thousands of residents under the new flight path since the 25th of June without any meaningful consultation. And the airport has received thousands of complaints so far, and I have no doubt at all that that number will continue to grow and grow if this trial continues. It involves multiple flights every day from six in the morning till almost midnight, loud and low flights over residents. It's scheduled to last until Christmas Eve, and the noise and pollution being generated is significant. Residents know, though, that declining airport movements at Edinburgh Airport since 2008 negate any perceived need for a new flight path, and there's not a commitment even to a second runway until at least 2040. So what is this about? Presiding officer, in, in, in closing, the government has yet to meet its annual climate change targets, and may I suggest that this flawed trial isn't part of the answer. There are minimal noise monitors, Indeed, my constituents are monitoring more diligently the noise than the airport is. There's a lack of air pollution monitoring. And really, it is time now to look at stopping this flawed trial. Thank you. Thank you very much.